so what I want to do in this video is I want to go over something called interconversion of loops which is basically converting a loop from um, uh, let's say for loop to while or um, while to for or while to do while or do while to for or something like that so why this is important is well uh, the programming part of it I think all of you guys will know when to use what loop but for the theory section they might give you a fragment of code from uh, let's say they'll give you a while loop ask you to write it as a for loop and I thought it was well necessary to go over this let me start off with something simple how to convert an infinite loop from for to while this is how you write an infinite loop in for and this is how you write it in while while you write while true we all know while takes a condition so you just write while true while any condition is true or while the body of the loop is true you run the loop so that that's the simple part let's get to something more interesting let's say you gotta convert um, a simple for loop let's say you have for int i equals 4 i less than equal to 7 i plus plus and the body of the loop is blank or let's say I write SOPLNI the same way to do that in while would be well first you'll have to initialize your i variable your loop variable outside cause you can't define it inside the while loop so that that's what you do you define the loop variable outside and then a while loop takes in a condition so your condition is the same as the for loop you start your brace and this is the slightly confusing part which a few people don't get what you do is the condition is i less than equal to 7 and this is the well increment or decrement statement and out here is increasing the value of i by 1 so all you do is you put that in the loop if you don't put that in the loop what will happen is well since there's no change to the i value the loop will go on forever it will be like an infinite loop well in practice yeah it will be like an infinite loop so that's what you do and then you copy off whatever code is there uh, so you write sop l n i so that's how you convert from while to for or for to while I'm sorry now I'll show you how you convert from while to for it's actually pretty simple pretty straightforward don't worry about it let's say you have a while loop while um, x equals equals y so as long as x is equal to y it's gonna perform the job of the loop so and let's say x and y are user defined variables so x and y are user defined okay so while x is equal to y and let's say all we do is x plus plus y minus minus so this looks a bit tricky but trust me it's not so what you do here is you just write for is there any initialization in this whole thing no there's not so you leave it blank just leave it blank put a semicolon there you we know our condition x equal to equal to y so we put that there and well is there any sort of increment or decrement yeah there is x plus plus and y minus minus so um you could leave this blank and well do it in the body of the loop x plus plus y minus minus you could do this if you wanted to or what you could do is you could write x plus plus here 
y minus minus here or you could write y minus minus here x plus plus here or another way to do it is write for blank x equal to equal to y then you give a semicolon write x plus plus give a comma and write y minus minus that's another way to do it I just wanted to show that to you so that's about it for this video I know it was pretty short pretty simple mm, it's pretty good so I hope you guys understood if you didn't then feel free to message me subscribe like whatever and um, happy Republic Day to all the guys in India most of the guys in India who are watching my videos and I hope you guys uh, like this video and I hope you guys have a great day thanks